Welcome to Millionaire Power Moves. And in this episode, we're gonna talk about David Stewart. He is a black African-American billionaire. And you're gonna love this episode. Do you know how powerful you are? Millionaire Power Moves. I had to find my inner power. To the top, major key. This is Millionaire Power Moves. You know who this is, and if you don't, don't. A Donahue Baker. Welcome to Millionaire Power Moves, and you know exactly what we do. We analyze the power moves of millionaires, and in this case, billionaires all across America. Some of them you know, and some of them you don't. But in this particular episode, we analyze the power moves of David Stewart. Interesting case. I hope you find a lot of value. I definitely think this is one of my favorite episodes for knowledge. And I hope you stick to the end because it's going to be some real, real nuggets. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do. Definitely hit that notification button so you can be notified every single time a new episode is released. But without further ado, I bring you David Stewart. David L. Stewart was born 1951 as an American businessman. He's a chairman and founder of Worldwide Technology, one of the largest African-American owned businesses in America. Stewart is one of four black billionaires in America, being 745th in Forbes billionaires list for 2019. He was rated 239th on the Forbes 400 list of the American billionaires in 2019. After graduating from college, Stewart worked at Wagner Electric as a production manager. He was a sales representative at Missouri Pacific Railroad Company. He was a senior account executive at Federal Express, where he was recognized as Salesman of the Year and was inducted into the company's Hall of Fame in 1981. He owned transportation business specialists and transportation administrative services in the years leading up to the founding of Worldwide Technology. He is also the founder of Telecobi, a global technology supply chain management company. In 1990, Stewart founded Worldwide Technology, a systems integrator. In 1993, WWT concentrated its focus on the implementation of the enterprise-wide conversion services and telecommunication networks. In 1999, Worldwide Technology spun off its telecommunication divisions to form telecobuy.com. Sales for the two companies continued to grow, although revenue slipped in 2002 as Worldwide Technology felt the impact of the technology recession. In 2003, combined reported revenues passed $1 billion and Stewart formed Worldwide Technology Holding Company as the parent of the two firms. Worldwide Technologies 2018 revenue is estimated to be greater than $11 billion, which would rank it as one of St. Louis' largest private companies. Stewart attributes a great deal of his success to doing business with the SBA through its 8A business development program. Becoming a top federal contractor, able to compete head to head with some of the biggest and best companies in the world. He stresses the importance of building relationships and partnerships with a level of trust, integrity, and comfort. He notes a lot of doors were open to him by the 8A program that he might not have been able to walk through otherwise. The 8A program helped him to understand the unique government culture and assisted him with gaining subcontracting with the Department of Defense which he later leveraged into partnership with such giants as Cisco, Dell, Hewitt Packard, and EMC. Stewart also attributes a great deal of his success to his faith and his ability to look beyond current circumstances. His business philosophy is to build relationships and partnerships with a level of trust, integrity, and comfort. His personal mission is to adhere to his principles and to share his faith. He puts his money exactly where his mouth is. When asked about obstacles, Stewart listed challenges such as learning how the government did business. He found a huge hurdle in pulling the DC Beltway into the Midwest. Before WWT, all the big 
8A firms, and most of the contractors were in D.C. People have trouble believing this can happen in St. Louis, according to Stewart. His vision was big and bold. He wasn't going to let preconceived ideas stop him. Stewart says St. Louis is a world-class city whose light has been hidden under a bushel basket with great things to offer and a giving spirit. Within three years of starting the business, WWT was in debt. Stewart managed to grab his briefcase from the trunk of his Lincoln as it was being repossessed from the parking lot, according to his book in 2004. Stewart's deep Christian faith also plays an important role in his life. In 2004, he wrote a book with Robert Shook entitled Doing Business by the Good Book, 52 Lessons on Success Straight from the Bible. In the foreword, President George H.W. Bush says of Stewart, his story of success epitomizes the American dream, and his example is an inspiration to us all. Stewart paid his entrepreneurial spirit forward to his children as well, generationally. Daughter Kimberly, producer of the Oscar-winning Manchester by the Sea, became the second female African-American producer to receive a Best Picture Academy Award nomination right after Oprah Winfrey. Stewart's son, David, runs the digital comic book publisher, Lion Forge Comics. The Stewart Family Foundation gave $5.9 million to 121 organizations in 2015, most of them local, according to the tax statements that were prepared that year. Stewart has served on numerous committees and boards. I believe it takes a community to raise a child, he says. Serving in our communities is a responsibility we all share. We have a personal obligation to help the next generation because they are the future of this great nation. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Millionaire Power Moves. The key takeaway was the 8A program. So what I'm gonna do is do a deep dive into the 8A program. If you're a small business or know of a small business, you need to share this information with them because this program created a billionaire. And it's an awesome, awesome program that's still around today. They have a number of different services that they can basically plug you in with government contracts. And every year, millions of millions of dollars are made on these government contracts. In fact, a number of people have become millionaires just because of those government contracts. In addition, the 8A program also provides a mentor-mentee relationship, which you probably won't be able to find in most countries or most opportunities, right? You'll never be able to see that and experience that again, being mentored by a much bigger company or a company that's already in the program that has been successful. Once you get into the program, they have this mentor-mentee relationship, and they'll plug you, plug you with a mentor to, to, to act as a guide, someone that can lead and show you how to grow your business. David Stewart was a master at this. So what I want you to do is number one, get certified. All businesses should be certified with the SBA. Go to sba.gov and register and certify your business and apply for the 8A program. That's my one power move that you can take and run with and create a lot of wealth for you and your family and your business. I hope you take my advice. I hope you enjoyed this episode and got something out of it. If you did, share it with five of your closest friends. I want you to subscribe to the channel. I want you to definitely hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we release an episode of Millionaire Power Moves. I'm Donahue Baker. I wish you the best. I'll see you on the next episode.